continuous problems with the uh, Sonic Mini 4K, as you can see here. Probably about 90% plus of the uh, prints are failing, and it's not really consistent. The rafts and the base usually do stick on just fine, but occasionally you'll get failure to forms of the supports, and the most common failure, of course, is tearing free of the supports. So this morning I've been running tests. Uh, first I tried uh, settings that I knew would cause failure, in this case, uh, underexposure. That's what this pile there is. So then the next one, immediately thereafter, after I cleaned and verified the VAT and the you know Z-leveling process, uh, resulted in this one. And sorry, wrong one. This one was the next one. Uh, so you can see we're starting to get some formation. Uh, it cracked in half when I pulled it off the build plate, but as you can see, the uh, strip there is not hearing, but we do seem to have proper formation of the um, supports. So the only thing I changed was a few settings on the supports. Again, this is the same exposure time. It was calibrated using uh, two different calibration tools, uh, one being the uh, city and the other being the calibration plate. Um, in this case, I'm actually overexposing um, to 2.3 seconds, while the ideal quality before delamination of the layers was actually at um, 1.95 to 2 seconds. This is with the frozen ABS-like plastic. Now, each time the vat was cleaned and the um, resin was removed and any detrius left over from the failed prints was uh, taken care of. So the question is why is it becoming worse? As you can see here, this one, this test plate is the third in line. You can see a complete failure of the um, supports to form here. And if you kind of, it's hard to see here, look underneath there, you'll see that the supports again were failing to form uh, properly. Uh, the middle one was okay. And then again, the end one, again, so you can see, look underneath it, you can see the supports weren't forming correctly until the strip was being put on, and then it, um, they of course bonded to that strip, causing some dimensional problems. Uh, the final one was this one here, which is in my little cleaning bucket. Um, and there are several problems, including layer delamination, uh, failure to form for the supports. Um, you can see it's completely inconsistent between printings. These three here were all printed the same settings. The only difference is where I was taking care of some apparent where you could see there was some shifting in the supports on the strip to take care of the strip to better secure it. Um, I don't know what's going on so again after each time I z-level the plate and as you can see here I'm doing it yet again before my next print cycle. You can see the paper is staying on correctly. Um, this was probably going to be my first video. I'm going to do the voiceover for the other video, the repair video, um, after I post this. Um, sorry for the reverb. Um, we're in a very live room. It's my son room. Uh, you can see the old T-plate there. That was the one that had the threads destroyed on it. And after um, nine days of operation, I received it on January 1st, and it failed nine days later. So I've had pretty much nothing but trouble with this printer. Um, the black you kind of see in the threads there, the dark coloration, that's the thread being eaten because it's plastic. Total successful prints. That's right. That's it. There's a few errors on one of them, and you can see the errors here with the delaminate with the improper formation and again there and you can see that the Z cube here had a lot of drooping and malformation. Um, uh, this one, the crack there is because I tested it to the failure point. I wanted to see how strong it was. This is the uh, any cubic translucent green. Um, this has just been, you know, this case it wasn't a, again you can see there's some warping on the bottom. 
That's what the test strips today were I was trying to solve. It was solid. That was an error on my part. I forgot to hollow it. It ran out of um, resin because that's a big model with a chunk of resin. Uh, this one's the same thing printed successfully. Of course, I have hyper drain holes in it. So the question is, what's wrong with the printer? As you can see, it is in fact properly leveled no matter what direction I pull from on the paper, it stays down. So it's not that. Even worse, the whether as part of the printing failures uh, or just something else, as you can see, I don't know if I can show it properly in this one here. Do you see the damage to the FEP? That's not from me removing bad prints. Uh, it's stabbing the FEP. This is the uh, Z-axis movement actually jamming stuff into the FEP. Um, this is actually a new FEP. I replaced the one that it came with because of all the stabbing damage. Um, and here it is still doing it. So there's a lot wrong here. Uh, primarily, as you can see, inconsistent. Same settings, same file, with only some support changes, just as me attempting to see if I can get a square thing to print square. This is, these are a test device. These are all exposed at the same time, same print head movement. The up speed is 35 uh, millimeters per minute. When stock, of course, they recommend 150, which is just way too fast. Uh, downward speed is faster at 100. Um, that shouldn't be causing the printer to jam the parts into the FEP and damage it, but hey, what do I know? So, because going downward, uh, you lose a lot of time if you put it also down to 35 which I will try to do. Don't know what's going on here. What's with the inconsistent printing? And the thing is, it's not just inconsistent, as you can see, for as far as the bonding and everything else. The problem is, as you can, uh, it's hard to see on this one. There you go at the top. You can see the delamination, uh, which would indicate undercuring. And yet, these are all at the same time. And I've already calibrated for this resin, so I don't know what's going on with this printer. Maybe someone can give me some tips. I'm using the lychee slicer. Um, the cure time is 2.3 seconds, which should be an overexposure based upon the calibration city and the calibration plate uh, printings that I did, which showed that best detail it was at 1.9 to 2. Um, for ultra fine detail, but best cure was about 2.1 to 2.3, with 2.3 starting to lose the ultra fine detail. So something's wrong, and I'm thinking it might be the printer that I've been having endless problems with. Uh, this is the 28th, so this bottle's almost gone, and that's all I've successfully printed. 